Hey, Martin Goresco here, and I just want to pay tribute to Fats Domino, who just passed. When I was very young, about seven years of age, my mom used to listen to Jerry Lee Lewis, Charlie Rich, and Fats Domino. And that's what inspired me to want to learn to play the piano. I just loved uh, uh, the old style rock and roll and boogie woogie and rhythm and blues. Uh, and country with a little twist that Charlie Rich put on it. So anyway, uh, let me show you real quickly uh, Ain't That a Shame and also Blueberry Hill. The styles are very similar, uh, so this will be a very quick tutorial. All right, so we'll start with the right hand first and for this particular kind of piano accompaniment, uh, you just play chord triplets. So You play three chords for every beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And that's all there is to it. That's your right hand accompaniment. Now for the left hand, this is where you have uh, quite a few options. Probably the options are only limited by your imagination. So in Ain't That a Shame and in Blueberry Hill, the uh, left hand accompaniment, um, they vary between uh, in the pattern. It goes like this and it, it revolves, by the way, around the root position of the chord, which is C, E, and G. So these three notes, that's your uh, in fact, that's when you're doing boogie, you got to just, you just got to keep that root chord uh, uh, chucking along there. All right, but this particular pattern is to play, and it's in a swing feel, and it's, so you have C, E, G, bend that E back to E flat, and then E, and then G. This is one variation. Mm. Notice I hit that G twice at the top just for uh, rhythmic purposes. There it keeps the, the rhythm driving. Mm. Now, uh, another variation is just not to use the E flat. So again, you could actually use a combination of the two, which is what Fats Domino actually does in both Blueberry Hill and Ain't That a Shame. Uh, and then I've included a transcript. It's free if you'll just click on the link underneath the video because there are other variations uh, of this particular lick. For example, you could play or you could play Also in the transcript, I added this particular little variation and it's just adding one extra note to the first beat. So instead of, you'll add, or you could play. So adding that extra high C in there just gives it again a little more rhythmic uh, impetus to just, just push it forward a little bit. And that's it. That's basically all you need to master. I would practice hands separate at first. You don't really need to practice that right hand much. You're going to be just chucking uh, chord triplets. But the left hand and the right hand putting them together uh, could be a little tricky, but it's not too bad. Thanks for watching. Click the link below the video to get a transcript of this quick lesson.